Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Improvement in Food Resources. Question number 1. Sources of carbohydrates are Option A. Fodder. Option B. Gram. Option C. Soya. Option D. Cereals. The correct answer is Option D. Cereals, cereals, wheat, rice, maize, millets and sorghum are the source of carbohydrates. Question number 2. Which of the following is known as fodder crop? Option A. Sudan grass. Option B. Black gram. Option C. Bearsim. Option D. Both A and C. The correct answer is Option D. Both A and C. Sudan grass and bear seam are raised as food for the livestock so they are known as fodder crops. Question number 3. The crops grown in rainy season are Option A. Kharif crops. Option B. Rabi crops. Option C. Fodder crop. Option D. Both A and C. The correct answer is Option A. Kharif crops. The crops grown in rainy season are Kharif crops. Question number 4. Duration of Rabi crop is Option A. November to April. Option B. June to October. Option C. June to November. Option D. Both B and C. The correct answer is Option D. Both B and C. Duration of Rabi crop is from November to April. Question number 5. Which of the following approaches enhance the crop yield? Option A. Crop variety improvement. Option B. Crop production improvement. Option C. Crop protection improvement. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is Option D. All of these, all the three crop variety, crop production and crop protection improvement approaches enhance the crop yield by providing high yield productivity. Question number 6. Crop variety improvement ensures Option A. Good and healthy seeds. Option B. High yield. Option C. Average seeds. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is Option A. Good and healthy seeds. Crop variety improvement ensures good and healthy seeds. Question number 7. Factors by which variety improvement can be done are Option A. Hybridization. Option B. Genetic improvement. Option C. Cropping. Option D. Both A and B. The correct answer is Option D. Both A and B. Hybridization and genetic improvement are the factors. Helps in variety improvement by introducing new variety with good properties etc. Question number 8. GMC stands for Option A. Generic mixed crops. Option B. Genetically mixed crops. Option C. Generic modified crops. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option D. None of these. GMC stands for genetically modified crops. Question number 9. Which one of the following is not property of improved seed? Option A. Improved quality. Option B. Biotic resistance. Option C. Atmosphere. Option D. Wider adaptability.
The correct answer is Option C. Atmosphere. Atmosphere is not property of improved seed. Question number 10. Weeds affect the crop plants by Option A. Killing off plants in field before they grow. Option B. Dominating the plants to grow. Option C. Competing for various resources of crops, plants, causing low availability of nutrients. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option C. Competing for various resources of crops, plants, causing low availability of nutrients. Weeds affect the crop plants by competing for various resources of crops results low nutrients. Question number 11. Growing of two or more crops simultaneously on the same piece of land is Option A. Disjoint cropping. Option B. Alter cropping. Option C. Mixed cropping. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Mixed cropping. Mixed cropping is growing of two or more crops simultaneously on the same piece of land. Question number 12. Preventive and control measures adopted for the storage of grains include Option A. Strict cleaning. Option B. Proper disjoining. Option C. Fumigation. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Preventive and control measures adopted for the storage of grains include cleaning, proper disjoining, fumigation and pest controls etc. Question number 13. Animal husbandry is the scientific management of Option A. Animal breeding. Option B. Culture of animals. Option C. Animal livestock. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Animal husbandry is the scientific management of all the breeding, culture, and livestock of animals. Question number 14. Poultry farming is undertaken to raise following Option A. Egg production. Option B. Feather production. Option C. Chicken meat. Option D. Both A and C. The correct answer is Option D. Both A and C. Poultry farming is done for eggs and meat production. Question number 15. What are broilers? Option A. Birds grown for meat. Option B. Birds grown for productivity. Option C. Birds grown for egg. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Birds grown for meat. Birds grown for obtaining meat are called broilers. Question number 16. Birds grown for obtaining egg are. Option A. Layers. Option B. Broilers. Option C. Chicks. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Layers. Question number 17. Plants acquire nitrogen from Option A. Water. Option B. Soil. Option C. Node. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Soil. Plants acquire nitrogen from soil. Question number 18. Bombay duct differ from common carp on the basis of Option A. Habitat. Option B. Types of water they live. Option C. Inland habitat. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. 
types of water they live. Bombay duck is a marine fish, while common carp is a freshwater fish. Question number 19. What do we call the kind of farming with no use of chemicals? Option A. Organic farming. Option B. Inorganic farming. Option C. Cattle farming. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Organic farming. Organic farming is a method of crop and livestock production that involves much more than choosing not to use pesticides, fertilizers, genetically modified organisms, antibiotics, and growth hormones. Question number 20. Composite fish culture system is a technology to grow. Option A. Local and national fish species. Option B. Local and imported fish species. Option C. Local and aquatic fish species. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Local and national fish species. The composite fish culture system is a technology to grow both local and imported fish species in the water in the paddy field. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonder Slate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.